Hello, here we're looking at simplifying expressions, an algebra skill um, that most students at Key Stage 3 will need to know. Just going to give you an explanation of what this question is about on the right hand side, then if you want to you can pause the video, have a go and see how you get on. Okay, so if I just begin uh, by talking in general about simplifying expressions. So you may be familiar with things like taking some algebraic terms and adding them together. And because we've added a together four times, we write it as 4a. So that's our usual algebraic rule. Um, what you'll see over on the right hand side is we've already got it in those terms. We've got 6k in one box and we've got 2k in the other box. Now this algebra pyramid tells us that we're going to be adding the two terms together. So we're having 6k's plus another 2k's. I'm sure you won't find that too much of a jump to see that that's 8k altogether. And that's what will go in our box over here. Uh, similarly in the other box we've got 2k plus k. So we've got 2k's plus a third k. And we write that as 3k. Um, if I just scroll this down a bit you'll see that there's a more advanced version of that where we've got so both a's and b's so in this one we're going to be looking at 2a plus 3b and that is added to 4a plus another 2b quite a nice way to look at this is to look for your terms that have the same letter so we've got an a term there we've got an a term here you'll notice I include the plus in front of it and that's important if you get negatives because you also include the negative term in front of it as well uh, we'll just gather together our B terms and you'll see that we've got 2a plus 4a so we're going to have 6a and then we've got 3b and then plus another 2b which means you've got 5b. And that's how we gather those ones together. On the right hand side here we've got a box missing which has been added to 4a plus 2b to give 7a plus 5b. Now you can do it as a subtraction where we do the one that we've got minus the square beneath it to find out what the top right square should have been. Um, be careful if you do end up with an expression like this because if I take the brackets away I want to be taking away both terms so I want to be taking away 4a and I want to be taking away 2b so just watch out with that one um, and if I do the same with my a terms and with my b terms you can see that I'm going to get 7a minus 4a so actually I would have needed 3a in this box here to add together to 4a to make 7a <coughs> pardon me and then we've got 5b minus 2b and that's also going to be 3b okay so that gives you an idea of how to go about it feel free to pause the video now have a go at the two algebra pyramids and then you can re Start a press play and we'll see if you're right. So the answers you should have got were 8k, 3k, and the total of those two would be 11k. And then here you can see we should have had 3a plus 3b. These two added together were 6a plus 5b. And then all together that will give us 13a plus 10b. I hope that proved useful and I hope it has um, improved your understanding of this topic if you weren't sure before. Thanks very much for your time.